I'm Larry Macon Jr. and now it's time to reveal this week's Everyday Champion. Today I would like to introduce to you Dr. Charles Modlin. He's one of our most cherished doctors in the community for Cleveland Clinic. Welcome to the show, Dr. Modlin. Thanks for having me. So good to have you here today. How are things going at the hospitals? Tell us uh, what's the state of the, our hospitals and our doctors and first responders right now. You know, th things have been difficult over the last several months due to the COVID pandemic, but I'm really proud of how the Cleveland Clinic caregivers and other caregivers across the state, the city, the country have actually stepped up to serve, you know, these, these COVID patients and, and, and the community. Um, you know, we're very hopeful that we're going to be finding a, a, a vaccine, the immunization uh, towards COVID. Um, the healthcare providers, many are stressed, but uh, they continue to show up and, and, and do their job. So I'm very proud of of what they, they've been doing to help the community. I and mean, that's why you're one of our everyday champions. But I wanted to ask you, what area are you most focused on as a doctor, Dr. Motley? So I, uh, most of my career I've dedicated towards kidney transplant surgery, urology, but I've, I've dedicated uh, the last uh, 27 years of my career also to improving the health of minority communities, uh, community outreach. And, and so uh, with respect to this COVID pandemic, I've spent a lot of time trying to educate the community about what COVID is, why it disproportionately afflicts African-Americans. I'm actually spending a lot of time on Governor DeWine's Ohio COVID Minority Strike Force. So that's predominantly what I've been focused on the last several months, uh, trying to educate minorities in, in, in ways in which we can curtail the incidence of COVID, in which we can mitigate COVID and the consequences of COVID in, in the minority communities. I just want to say, what advice would you give to the community um, as you're on this segment right now? I, I would um, advise the community, there are a number of things that we can do to mitigate, uh, prevent ourselves, our, our families, our, our loved ones from contracting COVID. There are many things that we can do. We can social distance, uh, we can um, use proper hand hygiene, uh, wear a mask uh, when in public, when in, in close proximity to others. We understand that many uh, individuals in, in the black community, other communities, uh, may find it difficult to social distance. Uh, we may have jobs that require us to use public transportation, continue to go to work. I mean, many of us cannot work from home, but we need to educate ourselves about ways in which we can prevent ourselves and our loved ones from actually contracting COVID. Uh, a lot of the reasons why minorities are disproportionately afflicted is because of what we call health disparities, pre-existing conditions, uh, which are more prevalent, prone in the minority community. Um, so I would also advise the community to establish care with a primary care provider, know what your medical situation is, know what, what your, your family's medical situation is, uh, get a control of your diabetes, hypertension, any other chronic conditions that you may have. That's going to, you know, doing that is going to lower your incidence, your risk factors for acquiring COVID. So a number of things that we can do. And what I'm, what I'm hearing from you is that you're giving hope. There's ways to combat this virus, and I believe that everything's going to be all right. And so you're an everyday champion. I'm so glad that you're here, and I just want to encourage you as you're on the front lines. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you also, Dr. Modlin, but I want to thank all of our viewers. Before I go, I want to leave you with some midweek inspiration. You know, one of our viewers asked me the question, what do I do when things seem like they're out of control? Well, my answer to the viewer was, is that life is full of inconveniences, but remember, even though we can't always control our circumstances, we can always control our reaction. You know, I heard someone say life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you respond. So that tells me that life is more about how you respond and react to the inconveniences more than anything else. So what's my advice you ask? Well, keep a positive attitude no matter what. Hope for the best and expect the best and be realistic. Understand that most days aren't going to go exactly as you plan them to go. But again, you have control over the way you react. So I believe we were created to live in peace and in solidarity. And peace is our position of power over the circumstances that we encounter. So if you get stressed out because you got off schedule, you ran off course, you just gave up your power. But instead of allowing life to get you down, I want you to keep your power and make the decision to release those disappointments and let go of it so you can live the life that you were supposed to live free from stress and full of promise. Well, that's my encouraging word for you this week. And I'm glad that you tune in to see who's doing some great things in our community. Remember to visit my website at LarryMakingJr.com or add me on Facebook and Instagram as I post daily inspiration to help you throughout the day. Also, I speak every week and you can find out where by going to MZOV.org. But I'm on the lookout for champions in our area. So be sure to contact me and let me know 
who you think should be next week's Everyday Champion. There's good people doing great things, and I'm glad I get to share that with you every single week. You're watching It's About You, and we'll be right back.